Hello everybody, it's Mindy. It's um, whip and chat time and look what I'm working on. I'm not working on a canvas, am I? Hang on, I gotta move the chair. I'm in the kitchen today. Um, yeah, I'm not working on a canvas. I'm working on a fun little project and I'm tackling this an interesting way. Let me tell you, I don't wanna kit up these drills even though there's a bunch of them. I don't wanna kit them all up. So I'm working one color at a time, like I would do on special drill projects. Um, it's a little more daunting because I got a lot to work with here. I got two gnomes and I have two bases. And so I have to check four different things with each color. Yeah, but anyhow, I finished my November canvas, um, goodness, with like, I don't know, 10 days to spare maybe. So I got to relax a little bit over the Thanksgiving holidays. And then I've just been working on fun things. They're all gnomes and I'll show them all to you eventually. Don't worry. Like at the end of the month, I'll show you all the other stuff I've worked on. So um, yeah, I decided to pull out some of these fun little objects to work on and I'm having a blast doing it. Okay, now see, I'm looking at this one. And I have S. Are there no S's? So I have to be really careful when I do this. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's some S's up here on the hat. Okay, we'll do those. Not very many on this one. So, I mean, I think it's a decent way to, to handle this. I really do. Like I said, I don't want to kit them all up into containers and all that kind of stuff. And I think this is working. It's working just fine. So these are from Craft Buddy. Um, I believe it's, oh, I hope I get this right. I believe it's Paula McNally who has gotten a bunch of these from Craft Buddy and I think did some for November. And I'm always just like, I love them. <laughs> They're so different than um, things you can get anywhere else. I had some other things I wanted to work on too. And I don't know if I'll get to them because these are a little time consuming. I will say that these gnomes here. The other two projects, well, three projects I worked on were quick. One took me a few days. The others were, you know, one day for sure. But anyhow, I'm having fun getting some more gnomey things done. I'm having a good time with it. Having a good time. So I hope you have had a good time with November um, and you're posting. I, so Here's the deal. Let me just say prizes for November. This something has happened. <laughs> um, my first week's winner. All right. I didn't hear from. And, you know, I've been telling people, you know, a week. You have a week to get a hold of me to claim your prize. Well, they didn't. I'll just say they did not. And so I went ahead and I picked another winner. And I got that packaged up and shipped it out. Then I heard from my week one winner, okay? And then I felt bad. Um, even though it was past the time, I, you know, I'm feeling bad. I checked in with Angie and Angie was like, well, guess what? Let's do this. She said, I have not heard from my week one's winner. So why don't I just send my week one's winner to your first person, and then we'll move on from there. And I'm like, okay. Um, so have I heard from my week two's winner? I don't even know. I have to go look because I don't know if I did or not. Anyhow, giving away the prizes, it's just kind of become um, a little more <laughs> problem solving for us, okay? And then, well, I'll just say Angie's had some things happen with life and um, it's been um, kind of difficult. Do I have any S's on this one at all? I don't think I do. I've had, um, I'm waiting to, to talk with her again. You know, life has happened. The holidays was, the holiday was here and all that stuff. And so we haven't really nailed that down yet about the prizes, but it's just, I don't know. She's given away a prize this week. I got to check and see if I've heard from my week three winner because I don't know if I have. Oh, 
Anyhow, we're trying, you guys. We're trying. We're trying to get prizes squared away and get prizes to people in a timely manner and figure out how to, you know, deal with people that we might not hear from in the time frame or, you know, just all that kind of stuff. Logistics. The logistics of it all, you guys. <laughs> um, so we're working on it. I'll just say it. We're working on it. Everybody will get their prizes. Eventually, we'll figure it all out. We'll work it all out. <sighs> just, it's taken some time and um, some finagling, okay? It's taken some finagling. Anyhow, um, and then we'll do our our grand prize. And I think I haven't figured out how we can do that. But again, I need to talk with Angie to um, finalize it. I think, I think, here's my plan, and I don't know why it wouldn't work, is to just go back to every single one of our videos um, where we were announcing our prizes, right? And number, just number everything, one through whatever. So I'm going to see if that works, and we'll pull grand prizes from from a bigger pool, a bigger total of entries, everybody who entered in any four weeks, right? So anyhow, with that being said, <laughs> that being said, it is Angie's week to give away a prize, a weekly prize. So, and, and I don't know how that's actually going to work. If she's going to um, be available to make a video for that, it might end up being a post. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I have any more information, I will let you know. And we'll see um, if I can disseminate that information, maybe just through my community tab or something. So please, you know, check the community tab. I put information in there, you know, not a lot, not, you know, daily or anything, but, you know, there are times when that's the easiest way to get some information across is to post it in my community tab. So check that from time to time, especially now that we have some um, undecided information that you might need things we're not quite sure of at this at this moment so check there check back with angie check out angie's channel i'm just not certain how this is going to go down for the last um prizes all right i know that sounds very vague and uh, i feel like i have no idea what i'm talking about right <laughs> but it is what it is so let's just go with that um what else did I want to talk about? Uh, this is going to be one of those kinds of videos where I'm just like trying to explain things. And sometimes, I don't know, it's hard. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to explain things and convey exactly what I'm trying to get across, my point, right? So anyhow. Before I talk about the next topic, let me just remind you that uh, DP Christmas Elves, or Christmas Elves DP, I think that's how it's titled this time, Christmas Elves DP is starting December 1st. I'm kitted up. I'm ready to go. I have my snowmen ready to work on for the month, and we will be doing daily posts in the Facebook group Diamond Moments and Crafts. For you to post your progress one post per day for that please just one if um, i start to see that there maybe are two or three posts a day i'll delete one um, because it's just i'm going to take this off it's not sticking anyhow it's one post a day please only all right and then we'll be giving our prizes away from that each of us will make a short little video there is a calendar, a schedule. I have been posting the calendar um, as to who's going to give away the prize each day. Remember, the prize will be given away the day after you see their name on the calendar. So like my name is on the calendar for the first, but I will give away a prize on the second. So it's the following day is the day you should watch that creator to see who won. I hope that is clear, okay? 
Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a blast. I got all kinds of prizes sitting around ready to go. I think it's going to be fun. We're all excited to do it and get started with it. And I hope you are too. I know there's a lot of events, but a lot of the events can overlap because they're all holiday themed or Christmassy themed. And if you're using a painting for another event, chances are you'll be able to use it for our event. Our only requirement is a minimum of a 30 by 40 section to work on. That's it. Pretty simple. We're trying to keep it fun and simple. All right. I hope you can appreciate that concept. Fun and simple. That's how I like to roll. Okay. So with that being said, I hope you join along um, and have a good time with us. So there's that. Okay. Um, holidays. The holiday was just kind of nice and quiet and fairly peaceful. Had a couple get togethers um, due to, you know, some people weren't around on Thanksgiving, but I had Thanksgiving at my house on Thursday for um, a good part of my family. Um, not everyone could make it. We did have another get together on Saturday, and that's why I did not go live on Saturday, because we had another get together where we had people who were not available on Thursday that were able to come on Saturday. So we had a couple of, of get togethers. They're very small because my family is not large. There's just a, a handful of us. I mean, I think there's less than, well, less than 12 or 15, something like that when we're all together. But it was nice. It was nice. It was peaceful. It was, you know, we did different things at both opportunities, both get togethers. So that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, it was just fun. Uh, did some shopping, of course, for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. You'll hear all about that. <laughs> I already have some of my shopping in my possession. Mm hmm. I will say this, Dreamer Designs, whew, Dreamer Designs kicked it right out the park for me. And I bought a lot. And I've already received one order because I did order on Black Friday and I ordered on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, they decided to release their paintings at three o'clock in the morning. And I was like, are you kidding? Really? <laughs> but um, I did not get up at three o'clock in the morning for uh, Dreamer Designs. I got up in the morning on Monday, and guess what? Everything I wanted was still there. So I was happy about that. I ordered again. Um, some of their stuff has sold out at Dreamer Designs, um, which I find interesting to just kind of look and see what does sell out. But my first order is here. My second order has shipped. Um, and I did, of course, order some from Diamond Art Club as well. That has. Uh, Shipping labels been created, and that's where that sits. So I think I'll still get my next Dreamer Designs first, is my prediction, because I think it's already left their warehouse and it's close to me. So they're in Illinois. They do have two warehouses, they have one in California as well, but my stuff typically comes from Illinois and I get it pretty quickly. So that's cool. But yeah, I did some shopping. I also have some yarn coming. Um, yeah, I had fun. I had a good time. <laughs> um, I know there's people out there that are like, I couldn't, I couldn't buy more stuff. It's Christmas time. I have to buy for friends and family and this and that. And I'm like, you know, I don't have to buy for all of the family because Dale splits that with me. He buys for some. I buy for some. And we don't go like whole hog. You know, we don't go like all out like hundreds or thousands of dollars on Christmas gifts, you know. Um, we keep it fairly simple, you know. Nice, but, but fairly simple. So I didn't feel bad about spending money on me. And quite honestly, I mean, I will say there's not a ton of people in my life who will buy gifts for me. So I don't feel too bad about just buying a few gifts for myself. Dale got me a bathrobe. So that's probably my Christmas present from Dale. I got a bathrobe. Nice, warm bathrobe. I'm so happy with it. I wore it today for the first time. Yes, I wore it. 
Are we wrapping it and putting it under the tree? No, we don't need to do that. We're not like that. It's fine. <laughs> um, there's no surprise here. I'm cold all the time. So thank you, honey, for this nice, warm, fuzzy, warm bathrobe. I loved it. Got up this morning. I put that on, came out in the living room, threw a blanket on my lap, and I just got super cozy and warm. I was nice and toasty. I love it. So I appreciate that early Christmas present. Yeah, I picked it out myself and everything, you know. <laughs> but like I said, he buys, you know, he'll buy for, you know, this is how we kind of work it. He'll buy for his kids and um, their children. I buy for my children. That's kind of how we do things. And then we do a larger family gift exchange, but that's like one gift, you know, and we do some fun game or something to exchange and things like that. So, like I said, pretty low key for us. Um, so I, I didn't mind spending a little bit of money on myself. Did I need to? No. Do I need any more diamond paintings? Oh, gosh, no. No, 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 and no. But uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't resist. I didn't buy hardly anything last year, you guys. And then this year, it was just like I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. So I'm not feeling guilty. I'm not feeling bad. I had the money. I had the money to do it. I enjoyed myself thoroughly spending my money, right? I earned it. I worked hard for it. I spent it. <laughs> right? So you'll be seeing quite a few unboxings. I don't know if I'm going to do them all separately or do them in some sort of groups. I mean, Diamond uh, Dreamer Designs will take forever to show you everything. If I did them one by one, I might do a couple at a time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I think Dreamer Designs is an interesting one to show you, like, quicker. Because, I mean, there's nobody out there sneak peeking Dreamer Designs, right? The Diamond Art Clubs that I got, you've probably already seen. So I think it's more important to get out there and show you some of these Dreamer Designs. Because you wouldn't have seen them yet from anyone. And there's some good stuff. Some really good stuff. So. Is that? What did you do? I know I've heard from several of you. I didn't get to chat with everybody on my Saturday Night Live about their shopping for Black Friday and all that stuff, but because you know I wasn't there. But you know, let me know what'd you do? Did you keep it down? Did you buy nothing? Did you go all out? Did you have a great time? I mean, you know, there's all kinds of levels of what people um, purchased. The ones that I still, I still sometimes have to go, wow, are people who buy like 17, 18, things like that. I'm like, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. Hopefully they're new or newer to diamond painting and they don't have like a huge, huge stash because man, that's a lot of paintings, but no, hey, you do you, man. You get what you want. <laughs> Just, I can't imagine what getting 17 paintings at once looks like. In the mail, even. I can't imagine. <laughs> Anyhow, must, it must be fun. That's all I can say. It must be fun. So stay tuned for some unboxings for sure. Um, they'll be coming. There'll be quite a few. I still have some Francesca Studio Works to show you. Those are coming weekly. Those will be a Thursday video until I've shown you everything. And um, yeah. Thank you for supporting that new company. Craftably has a reorder of about six or seven paintings that's um, in country being distributed to their new fulfillment center. And those will be available shortly. So there's that. New order should be on the way shortly. So that's exciting. Brand new paintings should be on the way shortly. What else do I have to tell you in news that I know? News that I'm aware of. Um, oh, I can tell you this. I do know that Francesca's was running a sale on um, their like 
They're like Elizabeth Ward containers to kit up in. A good sale on those. And I believe it is running through Friday, if you are interested. It, don't quote me, but I believe it was some buy one, get one, half off or free or I don't know. Check it out. Go to the site and check it out. I know that it's a good deal. If you like the Elizabeth Ward style, they're not Elizabeth Ward, but they are very similar. They're good quality. Um, check that out. I believe that sale is going to run until Friday. Um, they're trying to clear that stock out because I believe they don't want to carry the containers anymore. So i um, just trying to give you guys a good deal um, and clear out some stock. You know what I mean? So check that out. Anyhow, I think that's all I have to say as far as news goes. News from here and news from there. Things I know happening in the world of diamond painting, right? Um, I do want to address one more thing. And um, I just want to say, some of you may not have even noticed it because I know some of you probably don't watch all videos to that end. But... Um, I made a comment at the end of one of my videos within the last week or so. And I was, you know, I was getting ready to say, you know, thank you for watching. I love everybody. And I was like, oh, I don't really love everybody. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really love you. Not that way. I mean, cause you know, I don't know you in that way. And it was brought to my attention that that came off mm, not very positively. Okay. Um, and that was never, ever my intent, never my intent. I basically was, you know, saying, it's not that I don't like all of you. I like you all a lot, but love is a whole different thing for me. Love is like, I love my family, you know, I love them. I don't even have friends that I really say, I love you. Like my best friend. I don't, I wouldn't typically, when I say goodbye to her, say, I love you, you know, see you later. I love you. I, I don't know. That's just not something I do. My family, yes. But anybody else, you know, no, not really. So um, I guess my whole point with what I was saying in that video was, you know, I, I appreciate every single one of you. I like you. I do have relationships with you as far as commenting. You comment. I talk. You comment. I get to know you a little bit. Some people I get some messages from that go a little bit deeper, but that's not very many people, you know? Anyhow, I, I didn't want anybody to feel bad or feel like, you know, you're just a number or you're just a person who watches me. I, I do feel I get to know some of you, but, you know, there's thousands of you. There's one of me. And as I, as I was discussing with the person who pointed this out to me, I never meant it to sound bad in any way or like you weren't important and I didn't care about you because I do. But there's thousands of you. There's one of me. And I feel like I'm at a disadvantage based on the fact that you get to know a lot about me. I talk about me and my life and my family and things I do. And you guys get to know me on a very personal level. You get to know things about me, you know, and I don't have that with you. I mean, a comment here or there or a message is, you know, not the same level that you get to know about me and my life. So just, I guess, take into consideration that, please, that, you know, it's a little different for me. I don't know you like you know me. And that would be impossible, I think, you know, for me to know you on that level. Unless I sat and talked with you for hours to get to know you and your personal life. You know me. So I'm at a disadvantage there. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up. I have apologized and said that I never meant it that way. 
Um, I didn't mean to make anybody feel bad or make anyone feel like they weren't important or that they're just a number. But, you know, it, that that's how the situation is. I, I hope that that makes sense to you and um, it doesn't make anybody feel bad. I mean, I enjoy comments from you and I enjoy the lives a lot because that's where I do get to know more about people is in live streams and things. But I don't want anybody to feel like you're not important to me and I don't like you or I don't care about you or things like that. I am a very caring person. Um, it's just love is you know, love is a stretch and love is something that's reserved for people that I know well, very well. And it's mainly just my family. But I just wanted to kind of put that out there and clear that up. I did clear it up with the person who pointed it out to me and they understood, you know, where I was coming from and my point of view. And I hope that no one else is offended or feels like I, I think any less of any of you, you know, it's just, that's kind of the situation and how I feel about it. So I wanted to just share that and openly apologize to anyone that I may have made feel like they weren't important. You are important for sure. You're just important on a different level, you know, from people in my life that you know, I'm close, close to that. I feel that love type of relationship with. So I hope that didn't get too weird. Okay. I just felt I needed to say something about it. So I hope that wasn't too odd and uncomfortable for anybody. It was uncomfortable for me, but you know, I hope it wasn't uncomfortable for you guys. So anyhow, moving on, let's move on to something a little different. Okay. Um, looking forward to Christmas for sure. Um, I've been doing my decorating this year a little different. I go downstairs and I bring up a box and I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> so I brought up a couple boxes already and I put those decorations up and take the box downstairs. And then maybe tomorrow I'll feel like bringing up another box. So it's going very slow, but it's kind of cool. Um, kind of interesting to do it that way because it's like uh, every day the place just looks a little more festive, you know, a little more holly jolly than the day before. And sometimes it's not every day, it's a few days. And I'm just having fun that way. The tree, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on the tree. The tree, I feel like, I don't know, it takes up a lot of room, you know, a tree does. It takes up a lot of space. It really blocks my view out the front window and I'm, I'm not feeling a big rush to get the tree up. It's going to be the last thing I do. It's the most work, of course, putting all the ornaments on and it's just me that does it. So it takes a lot of time. Dale will help me put the tree together because we have an artificial tree. So he will help me do that. But the rest of it's really kind of on me and I'm just, you know, not in a rush to do it. How's that? We haven't even gotten outside decorations out, but it's been so cold. It has been cold here. We haven't had a really like nice day to get outside to haul all that out to the front yard and set it up. We're waiting for it to warm up a little bit. I think we're going to have a little bit of a warm up. So that'll be the day that we'll get out there and do the outdoor decorations. And he helps me do all of that. So not saying he doesn't help. He does help. He just doesn't do certain parts of the decorating, you know. But like I said, the tree will be the last thing I do. And if it's a week before Christmas, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm like in no rush. I'm in no rush to do that. So, but I am excited for the holidays. Haven't really shopped for anybody yet. Um, I know a lot of people are out there shopping away, trying to get all their lists taken care of and all their people and whatnot. I don't even know what people want yet. 
Okay, so we kind of, um, after Thanksgiving is really when people sit down like with their kids and get some ideas from the kids, what they want, get some lists going, that kind of thing. We do our shopping pretty quickly. Um, we'll do a lot of shopping on Amazon because we do have a family that lives out of state. All of their shopping will be done probably on Amazon. Um, so that's not too hard. We'll just sit down when we get their list and order, order, ship it out. Pretty easy. Um, the other families, the other grandkids anyhow live, you know, close by. We're just waiting for, waiting for lists, waiting for some lists. So when we get them, we'll just go shop and we'll be done. We make it easy. My life is all about just doing things the easy way, you know? I don't want to do things that are difficult and hard. and I, I don't want to fret anymore. I just don't want to fret anymore. I just want my life to just be cool and peaceful and go with the flow. You know what I mean? Let's go with the flow. So, yeah, that's how it is. We're going with the flow. All right, we're going to have to take this plastic all the way down off this hat to get to these get to these leaves down here. I wish this would fit right in here, but it, it no, that's not going to work. I want it closer, but I can't get it closer. I can't get it closer. Um, anybody else feel like that? Maybe it's more since I've retired and I feel no... Uh, sense of urgency. I don't have to fit this stuff in around working. You know, I have all day to do what I want. And that, that's my frame of mind these days. Just do what I want when I want, you know, like Dale will get up in the morning and he'll be like, so what are we doing today? I'll be like, I don't know. What are we doing today? What do you have on your agenda? You know, uh, you tell me. So this morning we got up and he's like, so what do you, what do you got to do today? <laughs> uh, I said, well, I have to uh, record a whip and chat. I have to record an unboxing video. I would really like to do a yarny video. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, well, um, getting tacos, but he never ended up going to get tacos because his friend was sick and didn't go. And I said, well, you can always go get tacos yourself. He goes, nah, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm like, oh, okay. It's not the same without your friend. I get it. I said, boy, he would feel good knowing that you don't like to go get tacos without him. That would be an ego boost, wouldn't it? So he didn't go get tacos. We just made a sandwich instead. Yeah. And then he decided, since I had some recording to do, he said, fine, I'm just going to go to Menards, which I don't know why he's going to Menards. He was just at Menards. Like, yesterday or the day before I don't know what else he needs there I have no idea but he was going to go to Menards again and they said then I'll just go to the gym I'm gonna go to the gym and work out I'm like oh uh, okay I need to go to the gym and work out too but I guess I'm not going today he's gonna do that while I'm recording I'm like all right I got him I got it though I know what I'll do later I'm gonna put on my um what's her first name Leslie Leslie Sansone, Walk Away the Pounds. I'll put on my Walk Away the Pounds DVD and I'll walk away the pounds later. He hates it. He hates her voice. <laughs> he said she just cackles. He can't stand her laugh. And I'll be like, well, you know what? You can go in the office. You can close the door. You can watch your YouTube videos, your TikTok videos, whatever you're watching. Because you know what? I don't really like to hear those. So that works out fine. Perfect. We got a great solution here. I'll, I'll do my walk away the pounds with her cackling laugh and you go watch your videos, right? It's funny. We'll, we'll make it work. We will make it work. Since it got cold and snowed, um, it has snowed several days this last week um, over the weekend and whatnot. It's not a lot of snow, but there's definitely white on the ground everywhere. And it's staying because it's cold. So uh, he hasn't been working or doing anything for the farmer, you know. 
I'm not going to be out doing fencing and stuff like that for him in the cold and the snow. So he's just kind of been hanging around at home. And I'm like, okay, well, I still have some things I got to do. So I don't mind that he left today. I really don't. I'm just, I'm just joking with y'all. But good. He went. He found things to do. Go to Menards. Go to Menards. Fine. The other day when he went to Menards, he came home and he at least had a Christmas idea for me. I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe he'll come home with more Christmas ideas. What do you think? Because it's not just me that needs to know. Like, you know, my daughter will ask what he wants for Christmas. And, you know, I got to have some other ideas other than the one thing he saw at Menards the other day. <laughs> so maybe he'll go out and give me some more Christmas ideas. All right. I think that's it for the R's. <coughs> Excuse me. Had the sniffles, just sniffly, sniffly. I don't know why. Yep, that's all the R's. And this one didn't. Oh, no, I got to do this one. I got to do this one. This one has R's too. All right. See, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a process. This is quite the process to do, to do it this way. But there's a lot to drill on these. A lot to drill. I feel like I'm doing like at least two or three special drill projects at the same time. That's what I'm feeling like. Literally, I probably am, right? Um, anything else to talk about? I don't know. Seems like some things have happened. I got to start recording my Christmas premiere. If you have not heard about the Christmas premieres, they started, I don't know how many years ago now, several years ago now. Pippa Brown, uh, she's the one who started the Christmas premieres. And it's just their pre recorded videos that we record and they come out. Um, on Christmas, the day before Christmas, I believe even the day after Christmas. And the concept was there are a lot of people who don't have anything to do over these holidays. And it was a way to, you know, give them some community, some people to watch and chat with. Because when we do the premieres, we do try to actually be there in the chat and chat along with people about our premiere. Mine is at 10 o'clock on Christmas Day. So 10 o'clock Christmas Day, there will be a premiere video, a pre-recorded video, but I will be there in the chat to, you know, talk along with you. And maybe you have questions about what you're seeing on the video or just be there to chit chat with you for a while to keep people company. Okay. So it's been a thing that's happened for several years. Oh, there's S's on this one. Darn it, I miss these S's. All right, I'll go back and get those real quick. Like, And why won't this one stick? Why isn't that last spot on my multiplacer sticking? Why? Is there something in there? Is there no, like, I'm going to gonna just kind of poke around in here in my not your mama's mud and see what's going on. So anyhow, there's a schedule and there are there are videos for like three days, I think. Um, the video, the playlist will be posted in many places. I'll try to make sure I've listed it so you can see who's going live. Now it's just being weird. It's giving me troubles on both ends. Like it'll stick on one end and it won't stick and it'll stick on the other end. What are you doing? What are you doing? See, now both ends aren't sticking. Maybe it's time to refill, refill the not your mama's mud. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, I think it's right here. Hang on. It is. It's right here. Let's put some more in here. Um, so looking forward to that, but I do need to record it. I haven't even started. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to film. I better come up with that. I got to get busy with it. I got to get busy. <laughs> oh, boy. In the past, I've shown like decorating the house and decorating the outside. And like I said, since we haven't decorated the outside yet, there's nothing to show you. And the inside, I've been doing it so slowly. I could time lapse it every day. What did I do? Well, I, well, I can't do that now. I'm past that. <laughs> 
Well, I could still do it a little bit. I don't know. Got to come up with some ideas. So just a uh, note that the Christmas premieres will be coming. And you don't have to watch them live either if you don't uh, have time or, you, you know, you want to watch them later. The playlist will always be there and you can always go back and watch them later if you would like to. But it's just something fun to do if you're sitting around and you're bored or you don't have anything to do or you just want some company, go hang out in somebody's premiere. It's a great way to get to know other people that you might not know. There are some people doing premieres this year. I don't even know who they are. I don't know them. So um, I might be able to meet some people I don't know, make some new friends or find some new channels I'd like to follow or something, you know? You just never know. So thought I'd throw that out there. Um, I try to watch at least a little bit of everybody's or most everybody's. There, there's so many. Honestly, I can't watch all of them, but I try to, you know, you know, check in or not live necessarily, but, you know, because I'll have my Christmas celebrations and stuff in that time frame and I can't watch them live but i can go back and watch later just comment hey you know replay i watched or whatnot something like that some people do very interesting things that's for sure some are very entertaining and some people just do a whipping chat and talk and it's all kinds of different stuff so yeah there's more s's right there we got to get the s's back out oh don't i'll get them out now so i won't forget there's a few on this guy I don't think I saw any the first time because there's not that many. Oh, I, no, I did them up here on the hat. You were with me when I did that. Yeah, I forgot. So, anyhow, I don't think I have much more to chat about. I think I'm done chatted out. So, I hope this video wasn't too weird. I know there's confusion on prizes for November and situations I can't talk about and <laughs> then situations I wanted to talk about but they're kind of uncomfortable just ah. like I said this whipping chat's kind of like all over the place and covers topics oh boy you know anyhow um with that being said time for me to go and do know this you are all important to me. Um, and uh, I appreciate all of you being here. And I hope I do bring joy in some way to your life. Um, because what I do brings joy to my life. Okay? There you go. We'll leave it at that. That being said, I hope you guys have a great week. And um, keep your ears peeled, eyes peeled in my videos, my community page, maybe on the Facebook page as to what's going on with these prizes, okay? So until next time, have a great one. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, everybody. Uh -huh.